Okay, there we go. We'll see if it's working. Who's that hot girl? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> uh, hola, mi compadres, buenas tardes. Um, we're at, a, at the uh, Techies uh, Wine and Cheese Festival, and it's like a four week, every weekend, there's like a concert for like four weeks, and uh, it's there's a lot of people here, all right? I've been to this park before, and well, people are just chilling, but there's there's gotta be like eight, 6,000 people in here, and it's, uh, it's wild, it costs about, uh, I think they've had three or four concerts today and there's another headliner tonight. Right now there's a DJ over there uh, doing it and uh, it's, uh, that sounded weird, but I didn't mean it that way, I just meant he was playing music. <laughs> she has a dirty mind, okay? So, I don't know, honestly, I've never been to a concert in the USA that was like a concert, have you? Yeah, and it was boring. <laughs> it was the Gorge? No. <laughs> I've never been to like the Gorge in the United States, but okay, let's walk a little bit. I'll just show you, I'll flip the camera here. Uh, we came in, I saw a few people getting thrown out. Look, there's a, it's a wine and cheese festival. And so there's literally people walking around with bottles of wine. I intend to keep my cabeza fully functional because that's how I roll. But uh, people seem to be chilling. There's a ton of vendors. Wait till you see this chocolate company, literally hand, hand airbrushed chocolates. I'll, I'll show you guys. Um, and what else? I mean, I saw two guys. I witnessed a fight earlier. It was my first fight in Mexico. We were standing in line. These two guys, uh, they kind of, uh, were, they were thrown out. They were probably drunk. Uh, they started walking down the street, kind of blustering, and the cops, and everybody was kind of standing around just observing them. And then they hugged, and everybody thought it was everything was okay. I don't know if it was the same guy or a different guy, but I turned around. We turned around a few seconds later and the, the, the one dude was laid out flat on the ground and the other guy was kicking him in the head. So somebody runs over and pulls the guy off and I ran across the street and a kind of a crowd gathered around because he was laid out. I mean, he was flat out. So I, uh, you know, first thing I did was check his pulse and he had a pulse so I'm like, well, so I asked for some water but you know, I can barely speak Spanish. It only took a minute or so before the medics came. The interesting thing, right? What was interesting about witnessing a fight here is no cops were shooting anybody. The cops weren't doing more beating up than the people that were having a problem with each other. Everybody just stayed calm and dealt with the situation and helped the guy. And it was actually refreshing. I mean, it was sad to see somebody, two guys going at it like that. It's not okay, right? But instead of the cops worrying about whether they could put somebody in prison for a few years and make money off them in the for-profit prison system, they just, uh, you know, people gathered around and, and helped out. Uh, okay, let's walk around. We did come in and I don't know if this is private or public, but they want the, the lady wanted to look in my wife's purse because it's a huge concert, right? And there's alcohol. They don't want weapons and stuff, which is, of course, dumb. That doesn't protect anybody. Uh, fake security is everywhere. But she's like, oh, we want to look in their purse and I'm just like no thanks and we just kept walking and it was no big deal so just stand up for your rights you know and, and be considerate of other people but you don't have to let your rights the <laughs> chica is dancing <laughs> Yeah, they probably don't want you to bring your own booze, but the reality is people are like, I saw people outside the gate selling cigarettes and just passing them through the gate to people. So, you know, they have rules, but the enforcement is not a psycho uh, shooting at your head, right? Let's walk down this way. The candy was down here. Uh, this is super, like, I'm not used to this big of crowds for me even, like, I'm a pretty social guy. Thank you all. I, haven't, I know I haven't been doing particular shout outs, but I am seeing your comments. I'm trying to get through the crowd. There's another concert starting at about eight. And uh, there's cheese. Again, this is the wine and cheese festival, so you're gonna see a lot of uh, delic delicacies. We should have come in the afternoon, cause like the party's really getting rolling here. And I'm a pretty mild-mannered partier. What is it? Oh, it's more more cheese, queso. The, uh, oh, check out these guys. Just go please. Check out these, uh, these guys with the chocolate. Um, I'm gonna wait in line because you guys gotta see these freaking chocolates. They're unbelievable. 
And there are, there's actually a guy here that speaks English, French, and Spanish. But uh, just look at these. These are hand airbrushed chocolates. And it's not just show. It's almost like they're candy coated. So they're like airbrushed with candy colors. And uh, it's, thanks Trail. It was pretty amazing. Uh, six of these was about four bucks. So they're very spendy, but they'd be way more than that in the States. <laughs> Say hola, hola. a mi compadres en Estados Unidos. <laughs> So yeah, that's the airbrush chocolates. Let's actually walk around. I have found aged cheddar here, but uh, in, in Mako, but it's not very common in the cultural cheeses. So most of the cheese shops, while they do have some aged stuff, uh, they do not have very much, uh, they do not have very much aged cheddar, but I have been able to find it. There's more wine. Uh, so this goes on in Tequisquia Pan, Carretero State, Mako, it's Central Mako, uh, every weekend for like three or four weeks in May and early June. Maybe there's less going on over here. Um, so hopefully the live stream's holding up. I use AT&T down here, and Telcel is the big one. That's ice right there. This is the back way. Uh, and uh, I'm thinking my, I, I probably get good service because there's actually less AT&T users here, although they do have a pretty solid network, it seems like, down here. So. All right, let's go back out front. It's just so chaotic. Maybe I'll come back down and do some more videos. Like, I'm sure in the afternoon before people have had the wine, but you can see how chill it is. I mean, people are just doing their thing, making out on the grass, whatever. There's the, there's the, lots of food stands. The concert start over here. It's so loud. Like, I don't listen to music this loud. Does that make me old? <laughs> This is mainstream music here. This is music I recognize. We got cheese. We got a cheese platter for two dollars and fifty cents. I'm trying to talk close to the microphone. Guys, I gotta say, like, this right here, this right here is the fake tree, it's nightmare, surrounded by thousands of Nakins. It's the fake tree, it's nightmare, but it's cool. Okay, let's go this way, maybe there'll be less people. Of those lots of homes. lots of local crafts and food. Well, didn't we try these guys? Is, uh, is eggnog? Is uh, 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 oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. it's eggnog with alcohol. That's what it is. Did you like it? Do we still have some? Ah, uh, nosotros. Uh, tingle from last time. <laughs> Gracias. I'm not a big uh, eggnog guy, so but my wife likes it, and you can definitely get the stuff with the alcohol in it down here. It's, it's probably harder to find it without alcohol down here than with alcohol. Yeah. Well, this is definitely the place to come if uh, for, for the for the the single people looking for uh, for a date. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like, you got the whole town at that night. I'm guessing it gets a little quieter over here. People just chilling. Looks like there's maybe a little dance floor or something over here. Clean my lens off for you. There we go. That should be better. Okay, so uh, I don't know. To be honest, you guys tell me. Like, I've never, I've never, thanks, White Mage. I've never actually been to a full-on like concert event in the U.S. because I, I just can't stand their invasion of my privacy, and usually it's not music I want to hear anyhow. But uh, um, I kind of came here for the people and to see the local vendors and stuff. But you guys that have, you guys uh, that have, that have been to concerts in the U.S. I don't know if they're like this or not. To be honest, I know that uh, security will be a lot more aggressive. 
if like me, you said, no, you're not searching my wife's purse and kept walking and said, no, thank you. But uh, it's uh, one thing you'll notice here too is people here do things together. So everything's pretty much everything is family, right? There may be people uh, having a drink, but there's also people with their kids. It's not like everything's restricted and, oh, you can't have uh, kids in here. Here's some cops right here. Hola, policia. <laughs> they're like, who's the local gringo? Gringos is tanto. <laughs> so there. The thing is, there's food over there. There's a food truck. Oh, there's a second concert over here. Okay, there's multiple. Let's okay. see who's playing here. I got the trampoline out. What? A little trampoline for the kids. Just somebody like setting it up to rent it out. Everybody's just chilling everywhere. Here's another concert over here. Let's go check this out. Uh, let's go around. Hello, lady. Man, this place is booming tonight. I've never been to a place in an event in Mexico that was this booming. But I guess I don't really go to concerts that often. So, uh... You know what I see? I mean, this is some, This is a pattern I see. People don't always behave, and sometimes they get a little, they drink too much, and you know, everybody, human nature is to do things they shouldn't, and we should avoid that in my opinion. But what I do see is people being human so much more here. Everything is not a big deal. I hope that's, uh, there's a big wet spot. Hopefully that's just water. I think it's just water, but <laughs> my shoes are not waterproof. Let's go up here, see what's going on in this concert. This is like the little little side concert. I think the main event is starting soon. Lots of, uh, wow, they're like fresh grilling. Look at that smoke. You guys see that smoke over there? That's food cooking. That's food. This is the food area here. One thing nice about events here is you just have vendors. And so like buying food isn't like 40 bucks, right? We bought this plate of cheese uh, and it was like $2.50. And it, that'd be 20 bucks at a concert in the States. This is a very large park. Usually it's completely empty this time of night. You can just like meander through it. Let's go see the concert for a minute. See if they get rocking here. Thanks, Diego. Shout out. So this is the little concert over by the food court. And uh, <laughs> the, I think the headliner is going to be starting soon. And we're waiting. While we wait, I just want to reiterate that a ticket to this was seven bucks, like six fifty for the ticket to this for the whole day. So, what's a concert cost in the U.S. where you have a huge event like park like event here and there's there's I don't know all this stuff, right? Here we go. So I really have no idea what's being said here. For all I know, this is like a completely inappropriate song. It's supposed to get Sandra all fired up. You want me to hold the cheese and you can go do a little dance? Okay, let's walk, it's too loud. This way. I think the food might get me fired up more though. <laughs> Sandra says the food. See guys, in the end, at the end of the day, it's always food that'll get your lady fired up. Flowers help, those are good, but food, comida, comida is the most important. Party. Hi. Pretty boy. Okay. Let's 
go back over to the main area here. This is a very large park, so there's a lot going on, and I'm sure it'll go on late, and I probably won't be here that late because I guess I'm just an old dude. Look at all these people just chilling. That's the bathrooms. Everywhere is a green where people are just chilling. Nobody's getting in trouble, which is nice. I did see a few people thrown out when we saw that fight, but uh, I actually didn't see anybody arrested. Like, the guy just pulled him off. I don't know the context of the fight. So it might be one of those deals where in the, in the U.S., right, police always have to arrest and ruin someone's life. You know, here you might have a situation where if two guys were having a, a fight, as long as nobody's permanently damaged, it's like, well, they had to work it out, you know? Um, not that I'm okay with, with two guys fighting and kicking each other in the head. Not, uh, not into using that, but uh, large puddle. Okay. Looks like that concert still hasn't started yet. I thought that concert started at 8. Uh, 8.30 is uh, the next one, and then the low light one is at 10. I know most of the guys are just watching this stream to see all pretty ladies <laughs> at the concert. But see, I brought my own, so I'm good. <laughs> now, one thing I've learned about Mako that, that me and Sondra are learning to take advantage of is the clothes here it's a warm climate generally in Mexico, so the clothes are freaking hot and so we go shopping and it's quite a bit cheaper and lots of fun this is still just the djs up here i think waiting for the main event maybe they didn't show up or maybe they drank too much wine that's why that's why you shouldn't overindulge moderation in all things gentlemen Wow, so busy here. Let's go back into the into the den of the den of snacks and wine and cheese. Ah. Kiss. Yes. Uh, some kind of queso, like a cheese dip or something. Tecara? Ah, oh, baby. Oh, it's goat cheese. <laughs> goat. <laughs> oh, it's Chihuahua. Okay. It's muy bien. Very good. Muy rico. This is uh, vaca. Oh, this is sheep. Mm. Okay, bien. It's good. Why not? Just a little. Mm. See what they're trying to do? I don't know. What do you think, guys? It's uh, five bucks. Well, six bucks. All right. Is uh. See, see. Okay. Step in. Why not? Tell them they're in good hands. Okay, so let's see, we're waiting for change. But uh, here I got it right there. Bien. Go cheese. La grande. This is the this is so it's important to understand, like basically
you gotta understand is we're in uh, Central Corredero State is basically like it's basically like the Napa Valley of uh, Mexico. So you have a lot of stuff that's uh, wine and cheese and all that good stuff. Let's go this way. There's a few less people. Whoa! Watch your step. Tripping hazard. You're on your own. I kind of want to try some of these wines, but the lines are just so huge. Okay. So many people, so many people. Have you guys noticed something about Mako? People look a lot healthier in general. I mean, look at this guy. Come on, come on. He like, has his shirt all unbuttoned. He's like, Miss Fuerte. But if you notice this, it's like a theme here, okay? If this was in the United States, like, there would be like a super restricted beer area and you would have to stay in it. And here, that's not the case. My, my shirt, hang on here, let me see if I can, let me go a little Americana here. Yeah, how about that? There's no lady. <laughs> there she is. There's my wife. Hi. Okay, what else we got? Uh, let's go this way. It's so huge. I mean, like, there's somebody's little kid. He's cute. More wine. You need to try the wines. There's a lot of local wines here. And a lot of the local restaurants still have not learned that they need to serve the local wines. Like, that's a much better way to handle it. Hola, buenas tardes. So, yeah, there is a theme, guys. I recognize that uh, everybody is pretty in Mexico. Uh, and, you know, they age just like the rest of us human beings. But, uh, is queso? After Daryl? There's a key, see? Hey. Bien. Is más bueno caliente or? Caliente, caliente. Ah. La variedad es mismo, solo la sabor es diferente. Ah, okay. Bien, bien. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cien? ¿Qué es aquí? Es hierbas finas. Hierbas finas. ¿Es herbals? ¿Es herbs? O sea, hierbas finas. Okay. Okay. ¿Tienes? Oh, it's a key. Okay, bien. Mm. Is a key. Is diferente or mismo? Okay. You're the pinkier one. Mm -hmm. You're the pinkier one. Let me try that one. Is demasiado comida aquí? Is bien. Oh, no, me. Sí. Yeah, five bucks, guys. Five bucks. Here, hold that for a second, wait. Just two shakes. Okay. 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 We're going to run out of, like, room for stuff. Uh, Tinto? Is, is Porto? That's pretty strong, isn't it? It's pork. It's chilled. It's chilled. I think I definitely like wine better chilled. Porta y... You like that one? 
a little sweet for me. Uh, Tiene is Merlot. Yeah, I like that one. You like that one? I like the sweeter ones. And I also like them better chill. Is Merlot? Uno is right bien. No, it's much more tanniny, which I like a lot better. <laughs> I like it. Well, if you want, if you like this other one, I'll get one. But if you're gonna drink it, but sometimes they just sit there when you don't. I mean, we don't have, we have other ones at home. So, okay. Merlot is bien, señor. Uh, Quanto? Uh, lo siento, mi español es pobre. 200... 230. 230 por la puerta. Okay, y la puerta? 210. 210. 210. Walk this way. I think the concert might have started. <laughs> there's so much, like there's cheeses and all this good stuff, guys. But like, I just don't like. I can only, I can only eat so much. I think the main concert may have started over here. My hands are getting full. might still just be the, uh, it's getting louder in here.
Everybody's getting frisky now. They're bringing out the, the soft rock. You don't get arrested for getting frisky with your girl in Mexico. Okay, we'll quiet it down a little bit. Now sometime, we must have got our times off, but I know there's a main headliner concert tonight. I forget the name of the person because I don't really know the May Connell uh, singers. But uh, yeah, I have a solar panel just like that one. Pretty cool. So, uh, but you see, you know what? Everything is pretty ordinary, guys. Everything's pretty ordinary. It's just another night in Mako, people doing their thing, having a good time. Most people staying out of trouble. Very long lines at the bathrooms. And other than that, people are making out all over the place. Like, it's all over the place. Like, at this rate, I, you know what? I don't like to be like TMI, but at this rate, we're gonna have to go start making out soon because uh, that's what you do, okay? That's what you do here. There's, there's a thing though, like, I don't have to be uh, inebriated to have a good time, me and my wife don't. So, uh, like, I don't have a problem getting frisky in the park with my wife, uh, even if, uh, even if, you know, Look, I'll show you. I'll prove it. Right here. See? Watch, I'll show you guys. <laughs> there. Proved it to you. They say that girl I'm with is hot. I'm glad. Let's see. Let's go this way because otherwise I'll have to crawl over that wall. That's as, that's as much as you get, guys. <laughs> But uh, let's just say this park on most nights empty. is empty and has lots of privacy. And all right, dark. so it's cool. It's a nice, it's a nice, it's a nice place to come make out with your lady. Right now, there's a few more people than I would be used to, but uh, everybody is everybody's like just chilling and having a good time and dressed gorgeously. One of the things that I see when I walk around Mako is I love what it says. It's always, uh, is that Gandalf? Oh, it's Gandalf. Let's see. Here, hold that for a second. Look at this. In la luz. For mi compadres in Estados Unidos. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> Gracias, señor. Gracias. Monday? Lo siento, mi español es pobre. Razor. 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 Ah, uh, <laughs> no say, senor. The Lord of the Rings. The ring? Oh, the Lord of the Rings, yes. Ah. Yes. Si, sí, exactly. Me, I, I, me piensa, me si. Sí. <laughs> Very good. It's, it's muy bueno, senor. Buenas noches. He's going for his Lord of the Rings look. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be Gandalf, even though, well, the beard wasn't white, though, but didn't Gandalf have, like, a couple different stages of beard? I forget. I don't know if you guys saw the Joker earlier, but uh, there's a pretty legit Joker cruising around here. We're gonna go over to the food area. I think I'm gonna wrap this up. Uh, maybe he was just a generic wizard, but he had a pretty good outfit going on. So, uh, what's that? So yeah, turns out, turns out the propaganda was bogus and people are actually enjoying themselves here in Mako. They know full well that the United States does not have freedom anymore. And, and, uh, Wandal. <laughs> and they. They know that they have a lot more. So technically, yes, in Spanish, it will be pronounced Wandal. <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that. Okay, here's the food area. Let's see what we got in here, because. This is where the kids and the family seem to be hanging. Well, and people making out because yeah, it's Mako, but. Where? Oh yeah, there's shrimp. I see uh, esquites, which is the corn. That's always good. Let's walk down the line here and see what else we see. 
For those just popping in, we are just live at the Tech East Wine and Cheese Festival in Central Mexico. This is a concert event that goes on down here in Mexico. Uh, this looks like uh, a grill. That might be like steak, maybe, carne asada. That looks good. All this stuff honestly looks pretty good. So here, you want to hold that and I'll go see what they have. Let's go get a menu, guys. Hola, buenas noches, gracias. Okay, so, all right. We got, at the concert, we got a ribeye for $11. T-bone is $11. Prime rib is $11. That actually sounds really good. Um, with salad and french fries. Uh, this sounds pretty amazing, so I might actually try that. Barbecue, Alitas. Alitas are wings, I believe. Buffalo wings. Oh, okay. So, uh... Hi, Sime kids. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. That's not bad. For uh, 350 gram, that's about a 12 ounce ribeye, T-bone, or prime rib, which is all sounding pretty good to me. So we'll probably come back and grab some of that. Gracias. Nosotros regresar en momento. I'm thinking prime rib, yeah. I'm thinking that's, that's probably a good way to go. Well, well, we just observe and see what's chilling around here. So, uh, okay, how can I get out of here? I think we gotta go back in this direction. One tip for you guys trying to learn your Spanish. All the C-I-O-N and T-I-O-N words are essentially the same. So any word in English that ends in C-I-O-N or T-I-O-N, with a few exceptions, there's other words that do this too, but this is the largest group. All the C-I-O-N and T-I-O-N words, so education, direction, you, it, you basically just pronounce it Sion at the end, but it's essentially the same word. It's, it's, it's the same word. It's, it might be spelled slightly differently, but if you think that, so when I'm trying to talk to people in Spanish, some kid says hi. When I'm trying to talk to the people in Spanish, uh, and uh, I'm thinking of words, I'm like, okay, what ends in C I O N, T I O N? And I'll use those words, because guys, there's like a thousand, twelve hundred of those words. And, uh, hola, mi compadre. Where are you from? Estados Unidos, Estados de Washington. He speaks oh, English. Washington, yeah. uh, Washington State. Oh. Say hello to my friends on YouTube. Hey, hello. 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 You're from Mexico? Yeah. Mexico is, is mas libertad in Mexico. Come on, guys, what's wrong with you? Did you vote for Donald Trump? <laughs> no. But I didn't vote for Hillary either. You both like both like are me. tyrants. Okay, like Hola, you want to be here? Oh. We might get residency. It's much nicer here than in the United States. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. It's bien. So you have a lovely people. Cheese. This pump, yes. Cheese. My hands are full. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here, Cheese. have some cheese because we're not okay, eating it all. Okay. <laughs> are you good boy? What's that? Are you good boy? Yeah, it's me, Espasa. Cheese. 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 Your wife. You just want the rest? We are lleno. Oh. Is your wife? Si. Lo siento. <laughs> Gracias. I understand. I'm just kidding. Wanna know, Shay? Okay, guys, we've been going for a while now, and uh, concert over there still. Uh, main deck over there. They might they might not get going till nine or ten at that one because I know they have a big event tonight, and I forget the lady's name, the chica that's a singer here, but. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food. I think we're gonna grab some of that prime rib and just kind of observe and people watch a little bit here because uh, unlike unlike many of the people, yeah, some, some probably fried coconut shrimp. Unlike many of the people here, we still have our mental faculties completely intact. And we enjoy the, okay. Uh, I think we'll try some of that $11 prime rib at the concert because and I'm just gonna enjoy that knowing that unfortunately if you guys were at a concert in the US it would be 30 bucks. Okay? So no offense, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Here's a little last view of, of the Mekanos just enjoying their evening here at the concert. Everybody chilling with uh, their family and a bottle of wine in the concert and we're gonna go find something. Oh, let's go by. <laughs> She's like, get out of the way, I'm trying to get my food here. Okay guys, so Thank you all for the support. Shout out to our Patreon subscribers. I'm going to walk back here. Uh, if you guys like this one, let me know. Maybe I'll come back next week when they're having a concert and show you a different concert and, and uh, 
just kind of want you guys to see the culture in Mexico and how the people are and how how it's it's different. It's just different. Everybody's human, right? There's always somebody doing something stupid in the world. But uh, what you don't have here is a complete brainwashed fascist police state. You have people being people, and there's somebody making some good-looking tacos over there. And even if you uh, you know stand up for yourself or break the rules a little bit. You don't have cops just shooting you in the head on the side of the road because that's not how they roll in Mexico. Ah, there's water there. I mean, you just got people. I think they're just like taking a nap there. So yeah, it's good. Okay, we're gonna go find some food, guys. Thank you. Shout out to everyone in there tonight. There's there's my Sandra. <laughs> and uh, she'll deal with me later. Are you doing anything? <laughs> Alright guys, uh, you have a good night and stay safe, spread the word, don't buy the propaganda, stand up, love your neighbors, speak out, resist. Peace.